Okay, we've just arrived into uh, Matula, and according to Waze, this is sort of like the center of town. Just to uh, the right of us here, there is the Beit Motza, which means the community hall. There's a Klalit, um, which is one of the national health funds in Israel. Some signage here about the first five homes, the local Arab style. Matula on the map looks like a nothing place. I mean, it is the northernmost uh, village in Israel, but when you actually get up here, there's a surprisingly decent amount of stuff. There's a few um, art galleries, center of Matula or uh, downtown Matula, you could say. And this is the second time I've been up here. You can see here there's a I don't know, hotels, maybe a bit generous, but uh, some kind of accommodation, the Alaska Inn Hotel, I guess, because it's so cold up, up here in the winter. And where we're looking now north, just bring the camera down a bit, where that's looking into Lebanon, Hotel Alaska Inn here. The historical name of this hotel is uh, Shelleg Halevanon, the first hotel built in Matula, constructed in 1911. I actually love to stay up here. Great place to stay, I'd say, if you're doing some uh, skiing in Mount Hermon, which we just came back from. You can see there's a uh, synagogue here, a shul, with Knesset. Uh, there's a bit of life going on up here. So this is uh, Matula, the north of Israel, and we're going to try to get some uh, sandwiches or... Uh, some other kind of food up here. Always amazes me that all these kind of Israeli institutions exist all over the country. Leomi is uh, the biggest bank. You can see the little bank all the way up here north. Klalit, as I mentioned, is a health fund. Tullamore Jew and uh, La Chouf. I've uh, explained before that for reasons that are not clear to me, La Chouf is actually quite big here. So it looks like you can get your uh, La Chouf here. Uh, very picturesque this place, Matula. Walking uh, towards the border, which is at the end of the street, passing some more hotels. As I said, there's quite a lot of uh, things to see in Matula. Another um, institution that exists pretty much no matter where you go in Israel is Doar Yisrael, the sometimes maligned National Postal Service. This is a little uh, building on Harishonim 29 in Matula. They've got their uh, PO box, PO boxes over there, so you can actually rent a PO box even if you live in Matula. Nice views there. It's, we're just about 3.30 here, so the sun is starting to go down. Uh, it is the winter, so we're trying to get as much sightseeing in as early as we can during the day. Not sure how busy all these places would be generally, but clearly uh, the whole, you know, COVID situation has caused kind of a downturn in uh, occupancy rates in hotel nations, hotels nationwide, so I'm sure probably wouldn't be this empty. This place is like completely bereft of customers. We're actually just about as far down on the streets we can go. We're going to hit the border fence in a second. We'll make a video of that. Bus connections to Kiryat Shimone, which we might visit on this trip. That's kind of the northernmost city in Israel. A um, few things to see there too. And uh, look at those beautiful views again of the hills. You can see how close on is from where I'm standing because if you see center of frame here, you can actually see uh, the Palestinian flag in the center next to, uh, I think it's the Lebanese flag or maybe even a yellow flag of uh, Hezbollah. This is on Harishonim Street, so it's just towards the very, very end. And uh, the hill and that billboard you're seeing again in the center of the frame here, that's already in Lebanon, as is this road. There's a road that literally runs alongside the border and the border fence is just in front of us here. And likewise, all these uh, houses in the distance are actually already in uh, Lebanon. And even that uh, the traffic there you're seeing coming across that road, that's already in Lebanon. And uh, the border fence, as I said, literally comes around the village. What's interesting about Matula is that um, all the buildings here both serve um, official modern purposes. This is the Rabanut building, the Shkata Rabanut. And you can see, it doesn't look like it's open right now. Just right next to us there, there's a sign talking about the teacher's house and explaining how uh, Roch Baron Rothschild and his officials believed that educating the children of Matula was of the utmost importance. So pretty much this whole street, Harish Onim, which seems to be like the main street, all, has, all the houses here have uh, historic significance.